Um, I'm not going to keep you long from um, the meat of this afternoon's uh, event. I just have a few uh, introductory remarks to make. You're all very uh, welcome, as Paul said. Paul, by the way, is Chair of Tasks uh, Economics uh, Network of Econ Economists, uh, quite a large network, and he does extraordinary work uh, for Task uh, in that voluntary group. Um, and indeed, Task very much depends on volunteers and uh, this organ this, the organization of this conference couldn't have happened without a lot of the people you see around organizing this today are volunteers so uh, I really want to thank them also for um, the contribution they have made. As I say, you're all um, very uh, welcome um, to this debate and indeed to this morning's debate. Those of you who were here this morning, we had quite extraordinary contributions from a range of speakers and I think which fitted very well uh, with um, the, what we're going to hear um, this afternoon. You're here to hear from an economist who has generated unprecedented media and public interest for a, a detailed study on economic inequality. Uh, efforts have been made in predictable quarters to, to undermine the authenticity of that work, um, but I believe the, the rigor of the work done, it has been fairly easy to repudiate those attacks. And of course, I'm not referring to the critique of conclusions or solutions, so I'm talking about the attempt to undermine the, the, the actual research, which I think is uh, probably understandable given the uh, popularity that it has, the pop popular way in which it has been well, well welcomed. We have here a study of capital which identifies why we are in this place at this time uh, and the damage that is being done to individual human beings and to our society by a reluctance to abandon what is essentially a dead ideology. Professor Piketty will be followed by the governor of the Irish Central Bank, Professor Patrick Honaghan, who is also a director of the European Central Bank. Uh, he therefore is a policymaker whose views and policies are, are critical to the well-being of the Irish economy and indeed of Irish society and wider afield. And I look forward to his contribution with as much anticipation as I do to Professor Pick Piketty. Because Irish policymakers need to engage in this debate. Uh, about the causes and the, and, uh, of rising in inequality and the means by which this might be stemmed and indeed reversed. Policy makers need to draw uh, conclusions based on the analysis and most importantly they need to revise their policies. If in the Ireland of today, for example, they are to remain relevant to citizens' concerns uh, and in demonstrating that relevance uh, to rebuild confidence in democratic decision making. The media also need to facilitate a much more robust debate on social and economic policies, in particular delivering a diversity of opinions in our print media and indeed on the airwaves as well and on our screens. For too often we get commentators who are wearing particular hats which bear no relationship at all to the lives of the ordinary citizens of this uh, country, but represent interests which are financial interests, which are business interests, which are stockbroker interests, and so on and so forth. And we're never told this very clearly, but the media have a responsibility to ensure that this debate uh, continues uh, and, and is real. And may I suggest also that the phrase tax burden should be red penciled by every journalist in this country and every policymaker in this country. It's beyond time when we begin to treat tax as the resource, the necessary resource, to deliver the public services that a good quality of life requires in a modern society. It's, it, is, it is so much um, a, par, a part of how we will address the issue of inequality. And without tax resources, fairly applied, um, we cannot deliver uh, those uh, service to services and we cannot seriously address the issue of uh, any uh, economic inequality. Of course, as you know from this morning's debate, there is a lot more to be, to, 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 to be done as well. The question for policymakers, those elected, obviously, and I should, uh, in that regard, welcome the uh, men, the uh, men and men and men, the minister for the Department of Social uh, Policy, uh, John Burton, who is very, very well, well welcome here 
uh, today, but also not only the elected, or the elected uh, policy makers, but also the many non-elected uh, people who help shape the policies of the elected. Uh, and, and whether they are, are they prepared to openly engage in this debate? Or will they just smile politely and continue as before with the failed neoliberalism which is continuing to ruin the lives of those who are paying the price of inequality with blighted, blighted and indeed shortened lives? In Ireland, the immediate context is the shaping of the bu bu budget in 2015 that is being prepared at pre pre present. The wider context is the part that economic inequality as a concern must play in the contributions that Irish representatives make, ministers, MEPs, and the commissioner will make to shaping the EU's social and economic response to the damage that is being done, not only by unregulated and democratically unaccountable globalization, but the EU's own leadership's obsession with fiscal policies to the virtual exclusion of ensuring member states are facilitated in developing social as well as physical infrastructure. TASC is an independent and politically non-partisan think tank, and I should say in that regard, I know there are other pol political representatives here. Um, I think Peter Matt Matthews is here. I think uh, uh, so, and I, there, there may, may, may be others that I haven't seen, but we are a, um, uh, an independent and non-partisan think tank, and our doors are open to all political persuasions who respect the dignity and the rights of the human being. But we are not neutral on fundamental issues, the most fundamental of which must surely be the right to live in a society that does not tolerate the kind of runaway economic inequality that Professor Piketty's analysis dem demonstrates. Task believes that today's debate um, uh, um, uh, around the research findings which Professor Pic Piketty has labored to produce and indeed the other speakers and researchers who we had this morning, um, that that debate needs to be carried forward by all decision makers, including by all of the political parties in Thoil Aaron. TASC has recently launched a tax dedication document as a way of seeking to channel uh, that debate and stands ready to assist in the drawing of conclusions on it. The welcome, the virtual wide, worldwide well, well, welcome, and I have to say uh, a don astonishing welcome that Professor P Piketty's book has received here in Ireland is a signal. It's a signal that there is a weariness with the old, exhausted economic model, a hunger for a better society, and a belief that it can be achieved if decision makers base policy on research rather than on focus groups. That debate must not end this afternoon. Thank you very much.